back to the channel. In today's video, I'm going to go over all the sales that happened this weekend. And at the end, Justin will tell you what the total profits are. And I'm going to show you some weights that I sourced this weekend. First up is this Talbot's Women's Blazer. I got it on 99 cent day. It was a really nice, like thick quality blazer that was fully lined. Um, I sent out an aggressive offer just trying to get things to move on Poshmark of $29. We paid $0.99, cents, so we walked away with a $22.21 profit. This tea set was so adorable. I found it at a church sale. I paid, I do believe it was $2 for it. It sold for $27, and after fees, I made a $19.60 profit. These loft shorts were new at Tags and XXL, and those are the two reasons why I got them. Actually, three probably, because they were linen blend also. They were $0.99, cents. they sold for $14, and I made a $10.06 profit. And then this JM Collection shirt. The funny part is, is I have sold this exact shirt in one size bigger in an XL, do with tags, and it also sold on Poshmark for $18. So here's this one. Um, purchased for $0.99, cents, made a $13.46 profit. All right, over to eBay now. Our first sale was this Nautica men's flannel shirt. I took an offer on it. It sold for $15.99. We paid $0.99 cents for it, and we made an $11.82 profit. And I definitely only bought this because it was new with tags. Then we have this Carl Lagerfeld sweater. I just showed this in a haul video. I had picked it up at the bins. Someone sent me a $22 offer, and I was just in the mood to move things this weekend. So I accepted. We paid $2.45 and I made a $13.48 profit. Then we have this Gold Ray. It's a Stitch Fix um, new with tags blouse. Stitch Fix is like a brand that um, is like a subscription for clothes. So a lot of times people end up buying the entire box because it's cheaper than just buying a few pieces and then they end up donating the other pieces. We tend to find it frequently. But this blouse sold for $21.99. We paid $0.99 cents and we made a $16.09 profit. These Wilton cake pans, they were got we got those in the free church hall. So I have nothing into them. The set originally had an 8, a 10, a 12, and a 14, but the 8 was missing, or they would have sold for a lot more. But they still went for $24.99, and since we had nothing into it, we made a $17.47 profit. And then you might remember this skirt. This was just shown in a haul video, too. Um, I had, it was Princess Highway, like a linen blend skirt. I only grabbed it because I thought the print was really funny on it. Um, they weren't worth tons. I listed it for $19.99, and as I said, since I was in the mood to move and someone sent me a $15 offer, I took it. We only paid $0.73, cents and we made an $11.48 profit. These Yankee Candle toppers, and one is like a jar holder, were all just randomly in the stuff we got from the free church hall. I just decided to lot them all up and see how they would do. And someone sent me a $16 offer and I accepted and we made a $12.52 profit. This new with Tags Avenue um, lightweight cardigan sweater. This is a very old item that was in the clearance sale. It sold for $10.19. We paid $0.99 cents and I made a $6.79 profit. Up next is this. It's snowing black and gold. It's like a Steeler sweatshirt, though it's not licensed. Um, it was my my parents sent it over. I think it was my dad's. Um, I debated on listing it, and I was like, sure. So I listed it for only $10.99. Someone sent me a $7.99 offer. I accepted. We made a $5.42 profit. And I love even more that this sweatshirt that honestly probably wouldn't even have gotten bought at the thrift store in this place is because obviously... We live in Pittsburgh and there is so much Steeler stuff is now getting new life and it went all the way to New Mexico. So that's kind of cool. And then next up is a bundle sale. So they bought these collars plus another set of collars and then these 10 pound weights plus two more five pound weights. 
And when all was said and done, sorry, I'm shuffling through my papers here, the total profit for these four items was $59.11. So this is another example of parting an item out. We found this sewing machine at the bins, and some of them were selling um, for like around $100, but obviously we don't know how well it works and shipping sewing machines can be a bit tricky. So I decided just to look up the pedal and sure enough, it seemed to have some value. So we paid by weight $3.18 for the pedal. I accepted a $35 offer and we made a $26.16 profit. This is another item that was just shown in a haul. It's a Columbia West Bend Sherpa like hoodie. Um, it almost had like an Aztec print to it. I honestly regretted buying it because I didn't look it up at the store. I paid $1.76 for it, and then I realized that there was tons of them listed. So when someone sent me an $18.99 offer, I jumped on it, and um, we made a $12.37 profit. These swans were also shown in a recent video. Um, they're like vintage wedding cake pillars. I paid 38 cents for them. They sold for $14.44 and we made an $11.14 profit. Some more weights. These are two five pound standard weight plates. DP is the brand. Um, they sold for $13.50 on an offer. And we paid about $3 and we made a $9.55 profit. And then this Disney, they're so super soft, two-piece night clothes set. I got them at the bins. Um, we've had them for a little while. So I sent out um, a 15% off offer for $16.99. I paid $1.57 and we made a $10.03 profit. These Alfred Dunner pants were picked up on 99 cent day. I only get Alfred Dunner when I pay less than a dollar for them and they're new with tags. They sold for $18.99 and we made a $13.16 profit. We have some more weights. These are two five pound weight plates. They're grip style. They sold for $14. We had about $3 into them and we made a $7.03 profit. These Lucky Brand um, dungaree jeans we grabbed them at a church sale for only a dollar um they sold for 16 dollars and we made an 11 dollar and 39 cent profit and then we have this saxony 80s sweater the sleeves had like coogee vibes but it had real leather on it and i didn't realize until after i bought it that it was peeling in a couple spots so that really detracted from the value i actually picked this up for full price at a goodwill for 8.99 ended up selling for 35 dollars 99 and we made a 17 dollar 91 cent profit and then these izod women's golf pants i got them at a church sale for a dollar just i think last week um, they were, since they were new with tags and they were a decent size, a size 14, I was hopeful that they would go well and they sold for $28.99 minus our 5% um, discount because they sold for full price and we made a $21.48 profit. This was by far the best sale of the weekend and if you follow me on Instagram, I showed this in my stories so you might have gotten a spoiler alert, but I found these Ralph Lauren dinner plates at the bins. And honestly, they didn't look that special, but I always flip plates over to see what the brand. And when I saw Ralph Lauren, I was like, that could be interesting. So there was just five plates. So I took them and put them in the cart. And when I looked them up, I was shocked at how much they sold for. So I paid with tax for these five plates, $3.69. They sold for full price of $149.99 minus 5%. And we made a $113.96 profit. And these plates are going to Australia, which means I am only responsible to getting them safely to the eBay hub in Illinois. And then after that, they are completely responsible. If they break them on their way to Australia, it's not my fault. eBay will have to refund the difference. And that's the beauty of using their international shipping program. All right, we have some more five pound weights. They sold for $15.99 and we made a $9.67 profit. This is a very pretty soft surroundings, like embroidered, like sheer overlay blouse. And it was in a size 3X, which was awesome. I find a lot of soft surroundings, but it's always smaller sizes and they just don't move that well. So it sold for $24.64. 
we paid one dollar and seventeen cents for it at the bins and we made a seventeen dollar and forty three cent profit and then the same person purchased two pairs of 25 weight plates so these were billards and let's see they sold for a $27.23 profit, and then these ones, which are barbell, sold for a $30.16 profit. These Jimmy Choo shoes Justin picked up at a garage sale. He got four pairs of shoes total that day for $10, and so they had a $2.50 buy cost. They sold for $28.99, and we made a $21.57 profit. This Eddie Bauer shirt, it was kind of like an outdoor, almost like fishing style shirt, women's XL, grabbed on 99 cent day, sold for $18.69, and we made a $12.95 profit. And the last item that sold this weekend was our last piece of the American Girl Angelina Ballerina collab. We picked up a huge box of items for only $10 at a church sale. I think we've sold at least I, I feel like i broke it up maybe into like eight to ten lots so we made tons of money on this set and this was the last piece to sell um i accepted an offer of eighteen dollars and fifty cents and we made a twelve dollar and twenty two cent profit i did buy some weights on sunday there are around 360 pounds here that i found on marketplace for hundred dollars these american barbell plates i've never seen before some dp 44s and in the back here there's some stay fit 10 pounds and hoffman 10 pounds so some pretty nice vintage plates here that i'll be able to list pretty easily and it's good to pick up the inventory it also came with this weight bench that i'll probably end up scrapping because it's not in great shape and there's a weight tree here i'm not sure what i'll do with that uh, another good thing about being a reseller is I'm always on Marketplace and I've been looking for a fire pit. This one came up for free in my area, so I went and snagged it. So our profits for this weekend were $604.92. And that's going to wrap up this video. We'd appreciate if you like and subscribe, leave a comment below, and see you on the next one.